Hey everyone, today we got a Toro recycler, self-propelled, not working. Um, I've already checked it out yesterday, ordered the belt, got it. So today we're going to put a belt on this thing. So let's go get that done. To start the party off, there's two bolts right here, one there, one over here. They're 10 millimeter and they only go into plastic. So we're going to take these out. And as soon as you take them out, you see the looks of it, you can tell that that goes into plastic. So that one's out. And that one. Next step, with the bagger off, we're going to lift this lid. We have another 10 mil right there. Again, only goes into plastic. So we'll take that one out. Next step, with a half inch, we're going to spin, take this wheel off. Holding the back cover, we'll take it all off in one. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next step is, on this side, with the wheel out of the way, there's two 10 more millimeter bolts here. And there's two more identical to it on the other side. So with all those bolts out, we have the plastic cover here, and then we got this one. So we can slide this one out of the way, and now this one will also come out. And now we can access the belt. Next. I'm going to reach around on the top side and grab the cable, and you can see it down here. I'm going to take something, pinch the tabs together, slide that out, and you'll see the little slot here. Bring the slot up, bring it in a little bit, take note which direction the spring faces. Now we can take that spring off, and we can just push it through, and it's out of the way. All right, so as you can see, I stuck a block of wood between the body and the blade with a 5-8. I'm going to break this loose so I can get the blade off. Now I'm going to keep the bolt, the bracket, and the blade all together so there's no mistake in which way it goes on. So we know it goes that way so you can't accidentally put the blade on upside down. So we're going to do that. Next step is there's a belt guard that has two bolts. Keep in mind there's three bolts. One here, here, and here. That is what holds the engine to the body of the lawnmower. So we're just going to take the bottom one out using a half inch. We're going to remove that one all the way. And the top one, we're just going to break it loose just a little bit. Just enough so we can move that out of the way. And tighten it back up just a little bit. Keep the engine tight. So now with that out of the way, we can tilt this over a little bit and remove the belt. We can take the belt off of the engine. So now using a square tip, an S2, S2, there's a bolt here, here, and another one down here. We're going to zip them out. All right, with those out, now we can take the belt off. The number that I found on Toro's website 
was 115-4669. And that's it right there. Can you see that? 115-4669. So now we're going to stick that on there. Swing this back around. And now we can start putting these back in. And the whole thing can start going back together. Alright, now that that's on there, and I should have pointed out, when you have this spun around, you want the belt to come out towards the back of the lawnmower. So when you spin this back around, it is facing the engine. So, take the belt. And we're going to work it over it. You might have to turn the engine by hand a little bit. And set the belt in place. Next up, we're going to put the belt guard back on. And that was a little looser than I expected. So, do that. Let's get this bolt in there. We'll just start it with our fingers. So we know we don't cross thread it. Especially when it's only going into an aluminum engine. We can tighten. Now we can tighten up. Again, you're only going in aluminum, so don't kill it. And while we're at it, let's just get this dirty run a little bit. Make sure they're all tight. So that's that. Okay, now that the belt's on, guard's on, make sure the belt's coming out on the top and at the bottom, not on the bottom this side here. As you've probably seen earlier in the video, I had that wrong. Next, we can come back over here, hook the spring back up. Remember, the spring goes from the underside up. Reach around to the top side of the lawnmower, grab the cable. And just give it a hard pull and get it to go through and bring it back in all right so now we can put these covers back on underneath here we got a hose here and here two more at the bottom you want to line them up to hose here this part goes into where your grass will shoot out to the baker Now we can start putting these bolts back in. One there. One there. And then we can shove this one in there before we get too far along. So it fits nice and snug, just like that. And remember, there's the one on the back side. We'll at least get that started with our fingers. That part done. We'll zip these two in. And the back one. So shove that one in tight. See if I can reach around and get one. Kind of started by hand just to hold it in place. All right, so now we can take the blade again, bolt, support, blade is all together, so you, you no mistake of putting it on upside down. Run it in by hand. Or you can do whatever way you want to do. Again, putting that block of wood there. Hold the blade tight. And now we can tighten it. Alright, well, the blade don't want to work. Alright, so now 
you can either leave it like that or like I do I'll put a wrench on and tap it a couple of times with the hammer just to make sure it's tight but don't over hit it don't over tighten it you just want it on there tight now we'll start putting the wheels back on so the gear looks really good here's your bolt or the hole for your bolt on the back side of the wheel there's a hole that's where the gear goes in there's your bolt so we'll feed that over that start the bolt get it going by hand and now we'll go do the other side and we'll do the exact same thing over the gear line up the bolt and slowly just rip it in. you don't want to kill it and there you go now the wheels are on i've already put the bolts in tight so it's done let's take it outside and try it out Thank you.